guys, how it goes? So it's been a while since you've seen this kind of view. Uh, I really haven't had much to review or go over uh, besides like, you know, like whatever I had in my collection, like I did a, you know, like Raptor collection and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm sure you've seen them all. But I figure why the heck not, let's show off what I got today. Um, actually, I don't know when you're gonna see this, but as of now, this is what I got today. Earlier today, I had a day off. I had some time to do some stuff, so why the heck not? I went and I just went to my local store called Second and Charles to look for some stuff. Now, I funny enough happen to leave <laughs> with nothing but Jurassic Park related items, which is crazy because sometimes they only have Jurassic World stuff, or if it is Jurassic Park, it's either the, you know, the VHS, which, which I have a couple of copies of, DVDs, and all that fun stuff. So, first things first, I know everybody has seen those, those keychains going around, those like hard rubber keychains. Uh, last one I showed off, I believe, was uh, Malcolm. Oh uh, yeah, the Malcolm I got from the first wave. There was another wave as well, and then this is, um, I believe there's a wave of Jurassic World, uh, which I only got one of those, it was Claire. Um, and then there's a wave two of the Jurassic, the original Jurassic Park series. So the, the, the wave one had the injury name Malcolm, which I have, and the Triceratops, which I would probably show off in this video as of right now, as you can see <clears throat> all of them hanging from the shelf right now. But I got a new one. It's from Series Two, so heck yeah, here's here's the. Uh, it's already opened. Uh, I couldn't help myself, but heck yeah, here's this. I was really hoping for Mr. DNA. Sally did not get him, but yeah, there's the rest of them. There's Lex, which I already have. Tim, Dennis. Um, no, I'm sorry, that's Ellie. There's Lex. I think we have Ellie. I believe we do. There's another Malcolm. There's the large part, dress park logo with the keychain or um, logo with the little T-Rex skull. I want the para. Uh, you see over here, Series 2. Okay, this T-Rex with the fallen banner. There's the gate. And on the back, there's some, all of them right there. Okay, with, which is exclusive. And Mystery A and Mystery B. wonder what they are, but spoiler alert, I'll show you. It's Mystery A. Okay, the T-Rex skull, which is really cool. Chomps, I don't think it's supposed to do that, but it's pliable, you know. Looks really good. Okay, I like this a lot. This is not bad at all. So, that's what I got for the keychain. But the main thing, what I want for is that uh, my mother, every now and then, will babysit my two-year-old cousin, uh, Carter. He, he absolutely loves dinosaurs. He loves coming over here. He likes seeing my shelf. Uh, I gave him some extra stuff I had before. Uh, she wanted all the movies. She has all of them. Now she has all of them. But I was helping her find some stuff here and there. Find some decent copies at thrift stores, Second Charles. But I finally found her a copy of the... Um, Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which I absolutely love. Um, I know people don't like that, but it's on the base back and forth. But I like the movie. It's really good. Okay, I found this. I told her about it. I was like, hey, I found this. Um, it's got a DVD and Blu-ray and whatnot. It got second trials. It was only like 10.50. Yeah. It'll focus. Yeah, there we go. 10. 10.50 right there. Okay, I don't know why the heck's not focusing. But I only got it for two reasons. One, so she can have a copy because I already have this movie. I don't need it. But I got it for the booklet, as you can see right here. From concept to scene. So let's open this up and check out the booklet. I cannot wait to see this. Okay, this. This is basically the whole part of the whole video. This is the main video. It's right here. Here's the DVD. The Blu-ray. Typical stuff. Not bad. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a bonus disc right there. That's cool. That's really nice. Oh, it's on there. I might watch that later. But yeah, she, she's got the DVD and the Blu-ray version. And one. Oh, heck yeah. Oh. Baby Blue, yeah, as I call her before, but you know, now we know her name's Beta. So that's really cool. Again, okay, this. I'm going to check this out later. See what's on here. That'd be cool to see. Uh, but here is the booklet. Okay, this is the first time opening it. Obviously, we're going to look at it together. Love the Indoraptor on it. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo from concept to scene. On the back, it's just more like fiery ember stuff, part of the Indoraptor's arm and neck. My assumption is you open it like this and you'll be able to see. Kind of full picture, but I okay, can't see what's in here. Ooh. All right. Some jungle area right there. Almost looks like the Lost World. Kind of. Um, Oh, heck yeah. So there's the Mosasaur scene. I'm assuming, yeah, there's the concept right there of the idea. And there's the final shot of the guy on the ladder. Because that looks like he's just pulling up from a rope. But yeah, that's the final scene of him on the ladder. That was, I think, the best opening scene in any Jurassic film. I don't care what the heck people say. Oh, heck yeah, I love this. Concept art of Lockwood Manor. Looks like there's a some kind of, I can't tell if it's a saber tooth or is that kind of, it's definitely a mammal right there. 
skeleton that's interesting but okay there's a shot of Maisie looking up at the ceratopsian skull I forgot what ceratopsian it is if I remember I'll put the name right here as you can see but uh, yeah I know it's not triceratops it's something different okay and there's Maisie again plain and I'm sorry it's not focusing for some reason I don't know why come on yeah whatever but you all seen the movie Ooh. All right, there we go. There's a shot of the dudes going in there, retrieving stuff. There's the plane where they landed from. This little base of them to capture the... Now, it's funny as heck that they put all this stuff up. I, I don't... I mean, you don't see half this in the film. Or you do, and it's for like a split second. But, like, it sucks at all. It just gets wiped out with the whole island. So that was a waste of money for them. Um, oh, heck, yeah, there's the new visitor center. All in shambles. I like that scene of the Brachiosaurus, the correct size Brachiosaurus right there. And they're so huge, but not as big as the first movie. At least, as far as we know. Okay, there's some concept art again. Or it's all concept art. I like, those, I like the little compi on top of the uh, bones. It's like an allosaur. And I love the uh, just abandoned driver's spears everywhere. Okay, this is so cool. This is, oh, that's neat. Okay. I think there was a picture online of um you know I'll, I'll probably show it right here of a uh, giant stegosaurus skeleton but it was a huge and everybody was like why is it so big um i don't know why the heck it was so big my assumption is maybe it could have been for forced perspective shot maybe they wanted it up close they wanted it big for some reason i don't know but we never saw it in the film sadly um which is whatever there's the scene where blue is in the fallen Grass Park Jeep vehicle, uh, Jungle Explorer. Hold on, I'm looking. It's kind of hard to see through the lens of the camera <laughs> to show you guys, but yeah, there's a glare of the lights from the reptile cages, but that's all right. And then there's the picture of Owen in blue. I go, I'm missing page. Here we go. Okay. Oh, there's a little baby blue right there. That's really cute. And there's Owen. I like how the background back here kind of looks like it's in the old park and this is where they're raising it. Like maybe this, maybe they had access to this facility. Who knows? Okay, oh, here's more of this, more tech-savvy stuff. I'm assuming it's supposed to be Franklin Webb right, right there. It's like Claire at the desk. Oh, and there's that. There's the escape thing, which, funny enough, I have the toy version somewhere down there <laughs> of that. Um, again, when I rearrange the whole shelf, you'll probably be able to see it a little better. Okay, oh, come on. These pages are so sticky because it's really glossy. Oh, heck, oh, that is freaking awesome. Looks very dragon like, almost definitely like Smog or some shit. Um, but that's really cool. But I know it's a Baryonyx, but and then there's an escaping. There's, I, I'm sorry, the Baryonyx and that chair scene was kind of ridiculous. I think I thought Franklin would have died. But thankfully he didn't. Oh, there's the infamous scene. So he looks like the T-Rex is on top of a para right there. Yeah, it's definitely a para. Okay, that's so good. That'd be a cool poster, I think. I know we kind of have it with the actual movie scene, but, you know, I think that would be really cool to have concept art. Like, concept arts should be sold as posters. I think that would be so cool. I, love, I know a lot of fans who love concept arts of anything. Yep, and then there's the actual scene. Of, on this really poor, <laughs> teeny tiny Carnotaurus right there. I don't know why the T-Rex looks really huge. I know she's big, but I don't think she's that big. It's insane. But it's a movie, regardless, either way. Oh, here's the auction scene. This scene right here is very Indiana Jones when they were doing all the fighting and whatnot. Oh. Okay, and then there's the final one. The Indoraptor on top of the roof, it looks like. Yep, there's Owen and Maisie right there. And then that's the end of the book. So that was neat. That was cool. So thank you guys for looking at it with me. I know it's a short video, but heck yeah, that was really worth it. That was, again, really nice. I love concept art book arts like this. I love behind the scene kind of stuff. I really do. And future, future video, by the way. I also found this, the second Charles, for four bucks. Many, many Jurassic Park fans will recognize this. This is book number four. I don't know, I think like 11 or 12. I, think I got it for like four, four ninety-five. dollars Let's see how many books there are of this. Um, it's not telling me. But I know, I know there's more books like this. I have two of them out in the living room. But yeah, this will be a future video idea. Uh, but for now, we're going to just focus... On this, this is really cool. Like I said, I love the concept art, love behind the scenes stuff. Um, anything that ties with like movies and all that fun stuff, I really love. Again, concept art, anything behind the scenes, love that kind of stuff. I showed those books up before. Maybe in the future we'll do some more. But that's my haul. That's what I got for Second Charles today. Hope you guys enjoy.
I hope you guys will look forward to future videos like this. Um, there's going to be small, just review videos. I'm not going to do a whole bunch like I used to. Just small stuff here and there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, with that, take care and be excellent to each other.